Hey guys, Ed here, and today I got a package from my friend uh, Chris, also known as Gundam Legacy Extreme here on YouTube. And uh, these were a few little Christmas gifts he decided to send me. He said he had a few random things lying around he didn't really want, and he figured that I would kind of get a kick out of them, and I'd like them, and it was a Christmas gift. So he sent them to me, and I got them today. And I know it seems like Lately, I've been getting more stuff than I've actually been reviewing, but that's a normal December for me, so... Um, reviews on whatever you want to see soon. So, yeah. Um, let's see, I guess I'll go smallest up. These are just a few things that he gave me for Christmas, and I really like them. So, yeah. Uh, first up, here's a little, uh, Musha SD something. Um... I'm kind of excited. I do like the little... I, I do like this guy. He's got some nice articulation. But, um... I am kind of uh, getting into the Sengoku and kits. And I think I will be, uh... Starting to collect them. Just because I like them. I, I'll have to wait till I build my SD Zeta guy. But, yeah, this is a cute little Zaku guy. So he sent me this. Um... Super Deformed Exia Repair 2. Uh, there's a little bit of paint around it and everything, and, uh, I'll have to kind of dismantle it and give it a whole spray paint, hand paint job, but, um, yeah, it's, it's nice, um, especially because I got the Super Deformed Exia for Christmas, and this is the R2 version, so now I'll have both versions, so, yeah, that's cool. So I got him... And the Super Deformed Double O Riser, which is really cool because I was actually going to get this one for Christmas, and I decided to pass it up and not get it and get the Super Deformed Unicorn instead. And so now I have it. And uh, this guy, just looking at the O Riser, I'm going to have to fill in all of those gaps with putty and everything. And this one's, these two guys are going to be a load of work to do, but. Eh, whatever. It's fun. It's Gunpla. Now, I'll just move these guys out of the way because they're kind of big. Next tr three things I got are probably my favorite. I guess I'll go, uh, I guess I'll go least to most. Here is the, uh, Raw DX Lunamaria Hawk. It's a, uh, pretty big... I think it's a 1 to 8 scale, uh, resin, or not a resin, a PVC figure of, a uh, Luna, and, uh, it's really nice, um, I didn't really watch all of Sea Destiny, but regardless, it is kind of a nice figure to have, just because it's Gundam Tat, I guess. Um... Yeah. Uh, I've seen a few of these on sale at a few local shops that I've been to, but I haven't really, um, picked one up, I guess. Sorry, I got kind of quiet. I think I just heard somebody in my house wake up at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, getting back on track. I, uh, I've seen these for sale before, and I never really picked one up, but I've always been tempted to. Just because I've uh, been a bit curious about their quality and such. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice that he gave me one. Another figure, and this is probably one of my favorite things I've ever gotten. It is a 1 to... I want to say 12 scale Suzaku. That comes with a replica key of the Divisor for the Lancelot. Which, if... Code Geass is one of my f absolute favorite animes, um, if not more than some Gundam series. Um, Code Geass is one of my absolute favorite um, series, but Suzaku is also one of my favorite characters, and this is a very nice little set that comes with a little display base. It's supposed to look like a little chessboard, and a key, and... It just kind of plugs in there and a nice little display stand and everything. The figure is nice. It's got some molding for the uh, clothes and everything. And it's a really uh, nicely done figure of Suzaku. So, 
that's very cool because I've always wanted one of these, and uh, I think I, <laughs> I think I started squeaking when I opened the package just because it's so uh, that's so cool. But yeah, you can uh, move them around and stuff, and you, you can take them off and everything. But you know, it all fits together nicely in this little stand, so that was that's very cool. And last but not least, the thing that I might be excited a little more about than this, not really sure though. The one the 35 scale Lancelot. This is the mobile suit, or not mobile suit, nightmare frame that this guy pilots, and this is the key to it. So the two of these together are a very nice uh, display piece to have the device or key, the pilot, and the suit. Um, I think this is the Royal Coating version, which has all the shiny, the shiny metal and blah, 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 blah. It's got, uh, the spinning lancer things and everything. It's got the swords. And uh, I don't know if this actually came with more pieces than what he actually gave me. But I don't think I'm going to take this one apart and paint it, just because it was a gift. And, uh, I really do like it a lot. So I think I might just take this and leave it, leave it as so, and put it on the shelf with my uh, Suzaku with the uh, driver thing. But yeah, um, again, big thanks to my friend Chris for these really cool little gifts that he just kind of scratched around and sent to me. And I promised I'd make him a video showing everything off, so here's everything. And again, big thank you to uh, Gundam Legacy Extreme here on YouTube. I'm sure he'll leave a comment below, so look for it and thumbs it up. And that's about it, guys, so I'll see you on my next video.